A few weeks ago I had a need to demonstrate a mobile website uh, to some individuals and I was looking for a way to actually mirror my iPhone on my computer screen uh, so that I could do a demo. And that's the first time I'd looked for something like that and I was surprised to see that there was nothing in the App Store and that would actually do that in an easy way. I ran across a lot of instructions on how to do this if you jailbreak the iPhone with an app that you could then download and go through a VNC. I actually tried that on my iPhone 3 only to find out once I went through the process of jailbreaking and doing all of that uh, that it wouldn't work with iOS 6. So through my research I stumbled across an app that you're not going to get in the App Store but that you can get from the web that will do exactly what it is I wanted to do. It's a pretty cool app so I'm making a short tutorial here to show you how it works. Uh, the app is called Reflection and you can get it at reflectionapp.com. Download it to your Mac or PC. Uh, you can download a free version. It's actually the same version but you can download it and use it for 10 minutes uh, without paying for it. Uh, and then it shuts off after 10 minutes. Now you could, uh, I noticed, once it shuts off after 10 minutes, you can stop it and restart it and it'll play for another 10 minutes. So you can use the free version without buying it in 10 minute increments uh, if that suits your need. But it's not that expensive. If you look here, it's only uh, about 10 bucks or so, uh, $12 uh, for a single user license. Uh, I bought it. It's well worth it. If you have the 12 bucks to spare and you need to be able to mirror your iPhone, on the computer then this is the way to go. So I'll give you a short demo here of how it works and just full disclosure here I have no relationship with anyone at Reflection. I don't know who they are all I know is they've built a pretty cool app. Uh, now you can't get this from the App Store uh, obviously Apple doesn't like this or doesn't support it or whatever so you have to come to the website to get the app. But once you download it uh, then what you'll need it works through AirPlay through wireless so what you'll need is to have your iPhone and your computer connected to your same wireless device. Uh, so if they're both connected to the same wireless connection then all you need to do is to start the program reflection. You'll find it on your computer where you normally find programs. Start it. It'll run in your taskbar. Uh, you really don't have to do change anything in the settings here. Uh, there's not a lot to change anyway. But once you sit running in the taskbar then to get your iPhone to show all you have to do on your iPhone is double click the button, the home button, I guess is what it's called. I'll show you here in a minute when I get it on the screen. Double click that home button and then swipe to the right twice. Uh, the mistake I made in the first few minutes is I swiped once and I was trying to click on this uh, button here. That's not the one. You swipe twice and then you'll see this button here. You'll only see it uh, if it's working properly. If your reflection and your iPhone are both connected to the same wireless uh, connection. But when you see it and you click on it, by default iPhone will be selected. So you click on your computer that you're on and then select mirroring and click done. And when you do that, then your iPhone will mirror on your computer screen. Then you can go through and it makes it really easy then to demonstrate anything you see on your iPhone on the computer. So if you need to demonstrate a website or whatever, you just work your iPhone and whatever you see on your iPhone is going to display on the computer. This doesn't require jailbreaking your iPhone or anything like that. It works. Uh, now obviously it helps to have a good strong wireless signal. If you have a weak signal it might be a little jerky. It might not be very responsive and so forth. But if you have a good wireless signal, uh, my experience is it's been working pretty well. So in my view it's well worth the 12 bucks. Uh, you can do a few things here on the iPhone itself. If you right click on it, uh, there are a few settings here as well. You can take the frame of the iPhone off and just show the uh, area, the screen area, which I haven't tested a lot, but it seems like it may be a little bit more responsive with that frame off. I don't know, it may just be me. But if you just want a clean look that's just showing nothing but your screen area, you can do that. I'll put the frame back on. You can change the iPhone color, white to black, and so forth. Now you can right click on the screen and you can force landscape mode or you can force portrait. But if you leave it at automatic orientation, then if you actually turn your iPhone, uh, it'll detect it and turn it on the screen as well. So it's a pretty neat little app. Uh, as long as you have a good strong wireless signal it works really well uh, and it's well worth the 12 bucks. So hopefully this will help you out if you're looking for a solution to mirror your iPhone uh, or your iPad as well. I think you need to have an iPad 2 or higher. I have an iPad but I have the original iPad so it doesn't work on it. 
Uh, my iPhone that I'm using on here, by the way, is an iPhone 5, so it does, it does work with the iPhone 5. Now, this is working well on my home network through my home uh, wireless connection. If you try to do this at work, you may run into some issues with ports being blocked and things like that in a work network. So, if it doesn't work there, you'd have to talk to your IT person to see if you can get AirPlay enabled and clear whatever ports or whatever for it to work in a work environment. But uh, it's working great uh, in my house through my home wireless connection.